Uh, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys liked the last video. Uh, what was it? Okay, so we're in CompTI pen test learning path. And we're at the information gathering and vulnerability scanning. The last video was Nmap live host discovery. And this one today we're gonna do Nmap basic port scans. I reset it. It says learn in depth how Nmap TCP connect scan, TCP SYN port scan, and UDP port scan work. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna start the machine here on task four, just to get ourselves ahead. Uh, let me see. All right, guys, let's go to task one introduction. As you know, these videos, I'm just showing how to answer the questions per each task. I strongly recommend to read through each task to get a full understanding of what's all about. You know, cybersecurity is a vast field. Um, yeah, um, let's get right into it. Task one introduction. So it says this room is the second in the MF series. So live host discovery, basic port scan, advanced port scan, post port scans. And it says answer questions below, launch an attack box by using start attack box button. You will launch different types of scans against the target VM to gain a solid knowledge of MMAP basic scan types. So complete. All right. And let's go task two, TCP and UDP ports. As for myself, I always remember TCP means secure, UDP means unsecure. So, and answer the questions below, which service uses UDP port 53 by default? And there's a hint that says require external research. So what that means is use Google, so. And as the first answer pops up, the answer is DNS. Okay. Makes sense because port 53 is a, is a server port. So, uh, okay, next question. Which service uses TCP port 22 by default? Hint requires external research. So you are familiar with the ports 22 is already secure so i i assume it's ssh but the hint says require external research so you can just highlight and google again and there you go ssh so secure shell hopes and next question is how many port states does nmap consider Okay. And as you read through the task, it says, import consider the following six states. One, open, close filter, unfilter, open filter, close filter. So. And the last question, which, which part state is the most interesting to discover as a pen tester? Mm -hmm. So, furthermore, TCP open. So it is open and close, right? So, then find blah, 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 examples. This thing specific port open. It's probably the most interesting. Because it's open, closes, you know, it's closed. So, yeah. All right, task three TCP flags. All right, talks about TCP header. Uh, you can read through all this. And it just talks about signaling for the TCP. So, answer the questions below what three letters represent? reset flag this one's pretty easy rst says reset flag to reset connection 
So you are G's urging, ACK's acknowledge, PCH is pushing flag, RSC is reset, SIN is synchronized, and FIN is finished. Yeah. Last question, which flag needs to be set when you initiate a TCP connection? First packet of the of TCP three-way handshake. So the first one, I believe is acknowledged, right? No. Is it sin? Yes, it is. Oh yeah, right here, initiate. Let's see that. So synchronize the flag is used to initiate DCP, actually. All right, task four, TCP connect scan. All right, task about the, the three handshake, sin, sin, acknowledge, acknowledge. And then the MST, sin, sin, acknowledge, acknowledge, reset, acknowledge. Okay. So it just talks about connection. And it says, answer your questions below, launch the VM. Let's, Show split, okay. Open the attack box and execute nmap slash st. So I'm gonna close this. 10.10.59.136. Paste, oops, that's not it. Copy, paste the clipboard, open the terminal, and paste. It says open via terminal. A new service has been installed in this VM since our last scan, which port number was closed in the scan above, but it's now open on the target VM. Okay, so you can just comparing, it looks like this is new, POP3, because there's no POP3 on the left. So port number is 110. And last question is what is Nmap's guess about the newly installed service? So it's pop three. All right, let's go task five, TCP SYN scan. So remember guys, you got to terminate task four, then you got to start task five. So then it'll work with the scan, so. All right, so this talks about TCP SYN scan. And it says, answer questions below launch of VM. Some new server software has been installed since the last time we scanned it on the attack box, use the terminal to execute. So we're waiting for this. What is the new open port? So it's still loading. I'm gonna close this out. So these should be easy videos. Um, I believe I did this one already. These three already. And as you can see guys, I'm I used to not complete this, but I guess uh, they got they updated it. So I gotta redo all this. Uh, all right, five more seconds. All right, so let's copy and paste and map dash ss 10.10.34.216 all right all right what is the new port open port so we compare again looks like this one's new the r i r c and what's the port number? It says 6667. And what is the MMAP guess of the server's name? IRC. All right, let's go test 6 UDP scan. Again, terminate the old one. Start the task 6 one. So you get another new IP address. So it talks about UDP scan. So connectionless protocol, as I always remember, is kind of unsecure, unsecure. So answer your questions below, launch a VM on the attack box, use the terminal to execute mmap-su-f-v, waiting on the IP address. A new server has been installed since the last scan with a UTP port that is now open, hint. UTP port scan, 
takes longer than TC po TCP port scans. The dash F flag was added to the scan. Scan 100 most common instead of 1000. We also added dash V to get updates as the scan progresses. I see. Okay. Yeah, it should be popping up pretty soon. Yeah. Okay. So let's copy this. Clear. All right. All right. It's scanning. So it's going to take a while. Six, seven. All right. So I was doing that. Again, yeah, I just want to show you guys. Uh, I currently not in the IT industry, but I am transitioning. This is something I really like doing. Uh, that's why I have a subscription base to tryhappy.com, and I utilize my own time and my money, no reimbursement, uh, to get CompTI certified because it's recognized uh, where I work currently. If I want to transition, as you can see, I am. Uh, I did a video on how to pass CompTI A+, plus, <clears throat> Security+, plus, and Pentas+. Plus. Um, I haven't done Network+, plus or CYSA+. Plus. Uh, it's pretty much the same format how I passed the test. And I did IFT for fundamentals because I, I don't know. It was cheap and I have time to do it. And I think I was getting... Uh, uh, Brain fry, fry my brain. I don't know. I was going brain dead. Yeah, stunning all these tests. So let's see. Still, all right. Okay. Looks like it's done. New service. So there's sixty eight, and there's one one one. So the new one is this one, 53, UDP. What's the service name according to MMAP domain? All right, cool. All right, task seven, fine tuning scope and performance. So it talks about specific finding ports. So these are commands, you can read through all of it. So answer your questions below. What is the option to scan all the TCP ports between 5,000 and 5,500? Construct your answer using the option dash P to specify the port range. All right, port range. So, all right. So I believe all right here, port range dash P1 to P, 1023 scan of ports between 1 and 1 3. Okay, so what is the scan option? So I'm going to copy and paste P will be 5,500. All right, so uh, that was pretty easy. Of course, I'm going to put M map. M map dash P5000 dash 5500. So next question, how can you ensure that MMAP will run at least 64 probes in parallel? Hint, you have to specify the option slash slash minimum slash parallelism, parallelism followed by equal to set the right value. So minimum, right? So ensure at least, as you read right here. So, Right here. For instance, dash min dash parallelism equal five one twelve pushes and map maintain at least five hundred twelve probes in parallel. So you can copy and paste sixty four, right? So instead of five twelve, that was easy. Okay. Last question: What option would you add to make and map very slow and paranoid? All right, slow and paranoid. As you redo the task, you to avoid ideas. So Alerts you might consider 
dash T0 dash T1 T0 scan one part at a time with five minutes between sending each probe so you can guess how long scanning one target will take to finish so the slowest would be T0 yeah and then task 8 summary just talks about cover summarize of three types of scans and then discover the running type nice all the option tells you all the purpose and then answer your questions below it says ensure you have taken note of all the scan options covered in this room it is it's time to learn more advanced port scanning techniques by joining the end map advanced port scan room so let's have i done this yes i have all right click complete and you can share on twitter facebook or linkedin as i already share on linkedin if you like this video guys please give a thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit the notification button com comment on my video so i can improve these better and since this is done i'm going to reset the next all right room for it all right so i believe this is going to be the last video sorry guys loading on information gathering and vulnerable scanning uh, after the NMAT advanced port scans is attack and exploit. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Till next time.